Hi Gemini, it's Jodie, your fellow sun sign Gemini. I love being a Gemini and I tell you all the time how much I love being a Gemini, apart from when I wear myself out because sometimes I take on too much. Um, it's not a fantastic trait for us guys, but with mental overthinking, mental overload and thinking I can literally do everything that lands on my lap, um, I, I burn out really quickly. So that is really the only downfall that I find being sun sign gem. Apart from that, I absolutely love being a Gemini. So, um, Geminis, I am firstly giving us a general reading for the week ahead and then a love reading for the week ahead. And then I will ask for some messages from my angels decks just here. So I hope that you've all been well. Please do forgive my video quality this week. I am upgrading equipment. I am also um, moving into a new room into my home because my channel room is so small and I need a bigger table to read from, which means I'm doing a whole new background, um, bigger table and better video quality. So please do bear with me this week with the quality because I know it's rubbish. Okay. Seven of Swords just jumped, overthinking, literally, all the time that card jumps. Okay. <clears throat> so, firstly our general, then our love reading. What can Gemini expect to be happening, please, over this next week? Let's see what we've got. Right, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, that's interesting. The Star card, Zodiac sign of Aquarius. Oh my gosh, we have the Two of Cups, beautiful, beautiful card. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, gosh, this is just our general reading, Gemini. This is very much with regard to love and romance. We've got somebody here who is holding on to you or holding out for you or us, should I say. Um, possibly an Aquarius, but not necessarily. Um, we've got lots and lots of emotions involved here. There is a possible soulmate connection between you both, as we do have the Two of Cups, but not always. OK, the Two of Cups can also represent mutual feelings, mutual attraction, mutual trust, um, mutual love but can sometimes indicate soulmate connection. We've then got the Knight of Wands. So there's previous growth between you and this person. I would say that they're feeling a little bit worse for wear or a little bit left out in the cold because they're wanting to come closer. Um, so Knight of Wands, this is showing them as either coming in over the next week or the want to on their part. Um, I'm surprised we haven't got the Six of Cups, to be honest, but the rest of these cards do indicate previous growth between you both and that somebody is holding on to you or holding out for you. OK, let's clarify. The Knight of Wands. Can you please clarify the Knight of Wands? <clears throat> Why is the Knight of Wands here, please? OK, we've got the Five of Wands. This is what I was feeling intuitively with this card. So Five of Wands does depict an internal struggle. So they're not knowing whether to come in or not. Um, I don't 100% see them as coming in over the next week, but the want to is there. So some of you are going to be like, no, not an X, stay away. And some of you are going to be like, yay. But I'm just telling you what I see in the cards, OK? Right, on to our love reading. Let's see what we get. Mm -mm. What can Gemini expect to be happening, please, over this next week within love? What can people born under the sign of Gemini expect to be happening within love, please, over this next week? Right, let's see what we've got. First card, Page of Wands. Next, we have the Five of Cups. 
Following this, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess and we have the Page of Swords. OK, firstly, Page of Wands. So this is usually somebody within some type of friend zone. This is somebody I would say is wanting more. Now, the Page of Wands, they can be quite unique. They can have a unique sense of style or their vibe or the way they talk um, to the point of being a little bit eccentric. It's the characteristics of the Page of Wands. So, firstly, with regards to love and romance over the next week, this is somebody, again, who's holding on, they're wanting more. So, whether this is a friend or an ex, this is indicating it's somebody that you already know. Next, we have the Five of Cups, which comes with a direct message to yourself to remain positive and optimistic within love. This can also indicate regret. So try not to regret things that have already happened or have already been. Try to leave that in the past and remain optimistic about the future. OK. Next, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, which does show lack of physical movement. Yet at the same time, there's being emotionally vested and there's being quite passionate. So this can be on your part or theirs. There's lack of physical movement indicated. Following this, we've got the High Priestess. This can indicate divine timing. It can indicate divine intervention. Things happening when the time is right. It um, can also indicate spiritual clarity. So gaining some type of information um, spiritually. High Priestess, one of the most spiritual cards of the deck. We've then got the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords here can indicate um, light communication, but also can indicate spying. It can go so many different other ways too. But with these cards here, I would say that this is more spying than light communication. I'm going to clarify this card. OK, firstly, I'm going to clarify the Page of Wands and then the Page of Swords. So two cards that just flipped. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Can you please clarify the Page of Wands? Right. Again, we've got the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is holding on to you, wanting to come back, wanting to come in. OK. Um, excuse me. So let's also clarify the Page of Swords. Can you please clarify the Page of Swords? Why is the Page of Swords here, please? We've got the Two of Pentacles. We have them here as keeping an eye on you. It's landed directly on top of the Five of Pentacles. So whoever this is that's holding on to you or holding out for you here, we've got them as weighing up what to do and keeping a close eye on you. So spying is quite a harsh word, OK? But whether this is... In person, which is doubtful, to be honest, not many people hide up the road waiting for you to come out of your home or your workplace. Um, if they do, that's beyond creepy. Um, but I would say this is more online or, or through friends. Um, so keeping an eye on you, weighing up what to do. They're not entirely sure. Um, but there is the definite want for more again, with somebody who you've got previous growth with. OK, so Gemini, on to our messages. OK, so firstly, my Romance Angels Oracle deck. Are there any messages, please, for Gemini? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this could be on your part or it could be on their part. Um, but it's a very, very clear message. Finances and career are an issue within your love life. 
Are there any more messages, please, for Gemini? Okay, you have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So whether this is on your own or whether this is with your partner or love interest, just literally disconnecting from everybody and everything, even for a short amount of time, um, can help you within your love life in some way. Right. Last but not least, I'm also asking for any messages for you from my Archangel Michael deck. Very quick, but too quick. OK, we've got be gentle with yourself. Are there any messages for Gemini, please, for this next week? OK. So these messages, if you do not already know, they do come alongside prayer. I'm going to read the prayer aloud and then it's entirely up to you if you wish to read this within prayer. So firstly, be gentle with yourself. It did jump very quickly, which is why I've asked again. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Next message. Write about your thoughts and your feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express myself and glean, glean insight and blessing and healing. I'm going to read that again. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing and healing. So you're being asked here to write about your thoughts and your feelings, just getting it out of your head. Right. So, Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I will be back again next week for another general and love reading. If you have enjoyed watching today, all the readings have helped. Please do subscribe to the channel. It does keep the channel going. I will be back again next week. And if you would like a chance to win a Zodiac book with regard to your sign, whether you're a Gemini or a cross watcher, um, go to your zodiac sign for the monthlies for March. One should appear here soon on the screen. And then comment Gemini on the video for a chance to win the book. I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.